Yep. How are you doing? Good. This is uh, inside the, the battery pavilion where actually everybody stayed and the main section, if you will. Storage over here, armament, cannons on top. I don't know how much the GoPro is going to pick up of this. Fort within a fort. That's what this area is. Why they painted everything black just absorbs the heat. I don't think it was black originally. Ammo exit. I guess if, after they fired, the rounds came down here and, and uh, dropped down or out the back. Can't get inside there anymore. I just look out through the batteries. I don't know if they had cannons placed out there or what. That's a big gun. Vent for the down below. Guess I wasn't well prepared when I stopped or went over there. I wasn't expecting the angels when I blew angels, and when I uh, went over there to film them, I uh, drained the 
battery on the on the DSLR it's almost gone and uh, and uh, the phone is about gone so that's why I'm just hopefully I'm taking some pictures and hopefully they'll come out And then I can just piece them together like a slideshow. See how thick those walls are and towards the outside there. Just heard the ranger discussing that uh, uh, since the Fort Pickens is on a barrier island, there's no fresh water. So they developed two cisterns for catching rainwater. One on the, uh, the wall right over there, probably that corner where they're all standing, and then one on the outer wall. So they catch the rainwater, and uh, that's what they would use for fresh water. Evidently, he used uh, the uh, Geronimo and 15 other Apache men. Uh, they sent him here to uh, Fort Pickens. I do believe that is Geronimo right there. Just a tunnel is blocked off, I'm sure, leading to the interior. Put this on maybe the camera. Nah, it's not enough light for the camera. And that's where it dead ends. Probably, yeah, that's current, or new bricks, but it went into the uh, inside of the inner fort, if you will. The other side, the outer wall. More gun emplacements, where they had been, but facing the outer wall. That bricked up right there. Well, this floor is all uneven. I don't know what they had here. Probably stored ammunition, but the floor is all wavy. It bricks, but they're just all wavy. Looks like you can walk up there on top to see the view. Now we're getting a little walking into the wind. I hope uh, hope that external mic of the muffs is working. Wind noise on a GoPro is bad. See how thick these walls are. Well, that's the main road. Coming in. A little sand spur in my sock was poking my heel. Not much to see here, really, just the, the fort and how thick the walls were, and you know, it was used in, during the Civil War. 
protect uh, Mobile Bay. It's funny they have these uh, gun turret rounds here pointing out, but that's towards the inside of the fort, unless they could adjust the, uh, the cannon, elevate it, and uh, have it shoot over the wall out to the out to the uh, Gulf. That could be. It could have been what it was for, or how it worked. But yet there would be inside here protected if they lobbed shells from the Gulf in here. These floors are like this, and some are just. Well, there's just years of water and use. Watch your step. Whoop, whoop, watch it, you, you too, watch your step. These are for little people. I don't feel like bending over, my back can't handle it. Ooh. Okay, there's the bookstore, this must be the end close to it. Speaking of that building, uh -huh. I'm, my RV is parked right next to it in a little cement thing there. Mm -hmm. If I stayed there overnight, would you guys come kick me out in the middle yes. of the night? And that's what it, I thought. You get, it, you get locked in and then you get a ticket. Oh, so. being locked in wouldn't matter, but the ticket, I wouldn't. Matter. Can I get one of those? You sure can. All right, thank you, sir. That's self guide crew map. Okay, the museum. I guess I could go over there. My uh, DSLR is about dead. Let me uh, put it up. Those little buildings right there, Ranger said of the old officers' quarters when the uh, fort belonged to the army, and then the uh, mess hall. That single-story white long building was the old mess hall. It's now the museum. Well, I could go and see the museum. Maybe put the bike up and then walk in there. Okay, the ranger said you gotta go inside. He said there's a lot of info on the inside. Talks about various things. I'm more interested in actual Fort Pickens than the island itself. I know the hurricanes have come through here, several hurricanes, and wiped a lot of stuff out. about the turtles and stuff, shorebirds. Just a lot of pamphlets and booklets and interactive little sliders there to look at and listen to the birds.
this building, as the ranger said, was the old uh, mess hall. Okay, really not much, but a bunch of placards and stuff, so. I'm gonna call that it. Uh, I gotta finish covering up the bike. And uh, then I'll be back on the road and I'll head on up to where we first came in, one of those beaches, and stop to see if I can uh, do some metal detecting. I should get up there about 4 o'clock or maybe a quarter after 4. That'll give me an hour, an hour and a half to do some metal detecting. And then head over to uh, Pensacola Naval Station for the, for the night. Alright, until later, fill out. Thank you.